Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can hear me. Um, we're in Sheffield today. I'll not be walking the dog. I hope uh, I might sit in the van and do this, actually, because that's a little bit loud, isn't it? Let me just sit in the van and uh, I'll tell you what we're doing. But I just thought I'd get a shot of the river. Now, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, that that's the River Don. I'm not 100% sure. But we're in Sheffield uh, today. No dog walking this morning. Uh, I've got a poorly foot. Uh, but I've come out to Sheffield to uh, meet up with Martin and pick up a couple of whiskey barrels, which, uh, well, four actually, which are going to be used for a beer aging project, but I'm not sure what to put in them yet. So any ideas in the comments would be very greatly received. So uh, I'm not going to keep the man waiting. I said I'd be there at 12 o'clock. It's 11.57 now. So I'm just going to buzz around the corner and uh, go and have a look at these barrels. Hey, I got here as well all by myself. No sat nav. Check it out. We've arrived, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure where I'm going to park, though. I could probably get in there, but uh, maybe we'll wait a minute. That looks like they're the barrels. I don't know if I should just pull up on the side and then we'll turn around in a minute. Well, we're back with the goodies. Uh, thanks, Martin, for the coffee and uh, chat. So, this is what we've picked up, by the way, boys and girls. We've got four of these little beauties. Martin's got some for himself also. And while these are obviously bourbon barrels, whiskey barrels, so they were filled 22 years ago, I'm assuming, and they've probably been in storage with whiskey in them since then, and now they've become available. So whatever was in here as well, probably been bottled and is long gone on the shelves of whiskey connoisseurs by now, but we want what's left in that barrel. Does anyone know what this information means? Give us an idea. Right, let's unload the rest of them and see what's printed on those. It's in Buffalo Trace Distillery though. I might look that up later on. So here we are, boys and girls. These are the bourbon barrels. And me being me, I couldn't wait to get inside them and see what what's in there now. All of them I've given a slosh around and there's definitely some liquid in there somewhere. So I managed to prise this bung out carefully without splitting it and that definitely smells of whiskey. There also seems to be a little bit of, I don't know if that's mould or charring or something like that, but it's definitely uh, yeah, something's going on in there. So I can't resist it. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to try and get some of the liquid out so we can have a look. It might just be water that's seeking through the top. It might be whiskey. Who knows? There's only one way to find out. And it'll give us an inkling into the condition of these barrels. Now, I'm going to try and take it out from the side bung simply because the tops are quite wet. So I'm just going to pop that there. Oh my goodness. Right, well. <laughs> that's definitely not whiskey. So uh, that's scuppered my excitement a little bit. As you can see, it looks like rainwater's got inside there or something like that while they've been stored. So they're going to want a good old cleaning out before they uh, before they get worked on. But wow, yeah, it's like lots of little charred particles almost. Shall we take this over to the sink and explore it a little bit more? See what's exactly what exactly is in there. So I suppose the best thing to do is pour it into a glass. Oh yeah, we can see there's some bits of wood 
pointing through and then lots of granules and bits there but yeah that's the colour so it's a nice strong stout colour if you like I'm going to give it a sniff but I'm not going to taste it oh you know what I'm not sure it smells almost like some type of cleaning solution it smells a little bit fruity like yeah it's almost like got a strawberry note to it or something like that uh, just off the hoof I'm gonna test the pH just because I'm not sure if indeed it is a cleaning solution or not so we're at 5.2, 5.1, that's not all that bad, so it's relatively neutral, 4.9, I don't know what whiskey is, but 4.9 seems like it's not going to strip the enamel off your teeth if you did drink it. So there we go, just a quick insight into just a quick insight into what's in the whiskey barrels now we've assessed that to a degree at least we can now decide how we want to approach cleaning these bad boys out and sterilizing or sanitizing them I'm thinking steam and then uh, and filling them but that won't happen for a while yet couple of weeks maybe but we had the opportunity to get these barrels so we did oh yeah it's rather grey and they are bits of bits of wood for sure yeah it's definitely bits of wood come off the inside of the barrel interesting anyway I'll give this a bit of a wash and tidy up We'll stick the bung back in the barrel because we don't want anything else in there. Here's the bung if you want to have a look at it. It definitely looks like there's some type of micro growth on there. I think we'll op open all of these at some point in the future. Well, we're going to open them to obviously clean them and fill them. But uh, I'm not going to do them all today. So what do we all think? What we're going to put in them? I'm thinking uh, an Imperial Stout or a Baltic Porter of some type, maybe up in the high ABV range. You'll have to let me know in the comments, boys and girls. Uh, so we'll keep this one short today, and we'll call it a day. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing your suggestions, and we'll see you on the next one.